Okay, so what we'll do with this is we'll start with some numbers and um, see what happens. Wrong pen. Let's start again. Okay, let's say using numbers. Now, what we've seen before is something like 2 times 2 times 2 has a base of 2 and a power of 3, or an index 3. Alright, so 2 to the power of 3. Okay, now, what would happen if we did something like 2 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 4? Well, obviously, 2 to the power of 3 is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. And then we're going to multiply it by 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which gives us, all together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. So this is 2 to the power of 7. Now, can you see a connection between the numbers that we started with, the, the index that we started with in each case, and the index that we ended up with. Great, yeah. So in other words, what we've got is that 3 plus 4 equals 7. All right? So what we're looking at is when we're multiplying all of these bases together, 2 times 2 times 2 and so on, we can simply, we don't have to do the step here. We don't have to do this step of writing it all out. We can simply look at it and say, um, add the index together, indices together. So, if we had 5 to the power of 9 times 5 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of you know, 5, what do you think that's going to be? Yep, 5. And what you're going to do is you're going to do 9 plus 2 plus 5. Now, I could list them all out. Okay, I could list them all out, but I'd have to do 16 of them all multiplied together. So if you don't believe me, then yeah, that's your job. You can do that. Okay, and notice again, look, what we've got is 9 to 5, 9 to 5. Okay, so now what we said in our notes earlier was we're going to generalize that. All right, so in other words, this is where algebra comes in. So in general, if I have a base of A and I have an index of N, well that means A times A times A times A, N times, all right? What happens if I multiply this by A to the power of M? Now these are just numbers. Think about what you've just done. And follow the pattern. There's your index N, there's your index M. Two numbers represented by letters. So clearly what we'd have to do is say that it's A to the M plus N. Okay, and that's it. So you generalize the statement now, you've put a statement. So for any numbers with the same base, A, 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 so if this was a 3, then this would be a 3, and this would be a 3, and so on. So in general, you can say this for anything that looks like this. Okay. So that's what we mean by generalizing from number, and that's what algebra is. Algebra is just generalized number. Okay. Let's have a look at some uh, division ones. Okay. Let's do 6 to the power of 5 divided by... 6 to the power of 2, or 6 squared, okay? Well, this means 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now I'm going to divide in a slightly different way to what we've just written. This divide sign is okay, but I've changed it into this divide sign to make it look sort of fractional. So on the bottom, I've got 6 times 6. So it's still a division, it's just fraction form. Why am I doing that? Because now I can cut 6 into 6 goes 1, 6 into 6 goes 1, 6 into 6 goes 1, 6 into 6 goes 1. Okay. So what I end up with 
is 6 times 6 times 6 times 1 times 1 all over 1 times 1 okay which is 6 to the power of 3 now again look at what you started with 5 and 2 were your indices so you've got an index of 5 an index of 2 and end up with an index of 3 so tell me what you think okay so 6 to the power of 5 divided by 6 to the power of 2 is the same as 6, 5, take away 2. Okay. There's your 5, there's your 2, and this time we're going to subtract. Okay. So, in general, let's take it to a general form now. If I have a number called A, and I have N of them, any number of them, all multiply together and I do a division of A with another number M then in general it will be A to the N minus M again looking at those index indices okay. so what you've done is come up with some rules there all right okay so what we're going to do is we're going to work with those to start with in class. We're just going to do that, or we have done. You're probably going to look at this video after we've done this in class. But that's the basic idea. So we've got two rules that we've just looked at. All right. And what did, if you remember what we did, we started using numbers, then we generalized. Okay. Then we use numbers again. I'll write that down. So we're using numbers here again just to see what pattern we get, just to see what happens. And then what we're doing is taking, taking a leap into a general statement, which is called algebra. Okay?